Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Greetings, everyone. BJ Wilder back with you for some more simulating reality. This time with the classic. Your oh, your own truck simulator getting back into the classic, classic here. Do I wanna? I wanna see something here. Do I wanna use this one? Okay, it doesn't matter. So we'll use this one. There we go. Yeah. Just so the uh, chat doesn't pop up since we aren't live streaming, we don't need chat popping. Chat popping up on the uh, overlay there. Keep things nice and simple. So let's uh, let's rock and roll. See where we left off. Um, boom! Here we go. Should be in London, I think. I think we just took a load of diesel to London, if I'm not mistaken. Last month, trying to work our way towards uh, opening up another country. We have our ADR certificate. We do need some rest. Okay, so we need some rest. Uh, let's go ahead and do that then. Okay. Let's go ahead and get all rested up. Thank you. Okay. Let's see here, uh, if I remember what the, uh, try to remember where our controls are here. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, let's see. Um, I think, let's see, I may have wanted to do an upgrade or something too. Let's take a look. I should write myself notes about all this stuff, but I can't. I just can't remember. Here we go. So truck repair, truck upgrade. Okay, fuel consumption. Uh, handling power. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, I think I wanted to hold off on that. So we earn some more cash. Um, yeah, there's basically nothing we really need to worry about with repairs. Okay. So let's... Um, where we're at we're in Manchester okay so we did we did took a job somewhere <laughs> from London to Manchester so I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what we did there um, let's see where our stats are here Bordeaux twice uh, played a game for 10 hours yes I know uh, okay so those are our stats Tomatoes from Euro Acres to uh, Euro Goodies, okay. Newcastle to Manchester. So what else did we do here? Uh, petrol from London to Euro Acres, okay. That's what I ended up doing. I thought I took, okay, here we go. Diesel from Stokes to Newcastle. Then we took petrol from London to Newcastle. Then we took tomatoes from Newcastle to Manchester. Okay, so that's that's where we left off there. Okay, so let's see uh, what else we need to do here. That's right, we are almost here. Uh, we almost have that star. And then, of course, we've got access to new countries. Right. So that's what we're looking to do here. We only need less than 100, 100 kilometers here. And we'll have that star. And then uh, we can open up countries there. I think we'll end up doing Belgium first. I think Belgium will end up being the cheapest. That's 30 grand. It's 36. We're almost better off opening up Spain than we are Switzerland. Switzerland's 36. It's 45, 58. Yeah, so the next two cheapest ones are Belgium and uh, Spain. So 56,000 euro to get those opened up, huh? But I think that's what we'll end up doing. Okay. 
So we're in Manchester. Let's uh, let's see what job we can grab here. Um, as I try to reacclimate myself to the to the controls here. Um, BCP. All right. Let's. Um, I gotta remember I'm in England here. Let's just go this way. I'll go to BCP. I take another ADR certificate here. Twenty grand just to cover the cost of opening stuff. So we got fertilizer, which actually is an ADP. So go to Bordeaux. That's quite a haul. Did I want to go down to London, or did I just want to do a haul back here? I don't know. That's eighty-two. This one to Lyon was thirteen. Hot chemicals we got here. Ah, so we need a class one for this, huh? 55 grand? No, thank you. Yeah. That's almost as much as opening up two countries there. Chemicals. Class two is 40. Acids. Of course, class two for 40. Okay. So we could do the petrol and we could do the diesel. There's our certificate there. So we got diesel. We can go to Bordeaux. Uh, we can go to Newcastle for a couple of grand. Um, London. Bordeaux will take a while. Um, I just want to do something short here, really. Hot chemicals. That's interesting. Fertilizer. Bordeaux. There's only 82. Leon, Newcastle, 13. Petrol, Newcastle, so we have petrol. Newcastle's two, so we're looking at 26. 26 and 22. 2280 if we're going to Stokes with petrol. So you see the Stokes with petrol. This is a little bit more here, so let's go. Uh, Diesel back to London, or should we go Paris? Maybe we should pop on over to Paris, huh? You can make Paris for 8,600, huh? Yeah, do that. Take some diesel to Paris. Yeah. What's that? Oh. Okay. All right. Yes, yeah, quite windy, blustery day today. <laughs> so apparently our best bull net just fell and just barely missed our cars. Fantabulous. Where is the, where the trailer is? Okay. You know what? I'll take that. Thank you. Alright, let's get moving here.
It's always something, whether I'm recording or streaming or what. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So let's see. So we want to head on the M6 South. Okay. So we want to make a this way. Okay. 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 Here we go. Spain here. In fact, we'll probably open up Spain before uh, Spain opens up in Euro Truck City <laughs> too. Uh, yeah, we will only be going to London at that time. So we'll have to get over here. That'd be cool. So we're going to have to do, I'm probably going to have to do another long haul here. <laughs> Come on. These have problems. These uh, ramps here. It's just the steering is just so... Do not zero in on the steering here. Do not get it feel just right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been nice to uh, get back into the Yuli games here for a bit. We did uh, a bit of 18 with Steel Extreme Trucker as well. Got to try to uh, get one more, I think, one more Ice Road episode, uh, trucking episode in. I know it's a little bit late. It's the spring now, but you know, just the way real life has been the last couple of months here, I have not been able to uh, follow my plans as completely as I would have liked in terms of uh, the games and the types of things that I, I wanted to do. So we're going to do one more Ice Road Trucking in uh, 18 Wheels of Steel episode and then uh, we're going to shift. Now that it's the spring and the ice roads have melted, we're going to shift ourselves uh, to one of the other areas. I forget what was there. I know Australia was one. I think South America was the other. So we may shift ourselves to uh, okay. South South America for the spring. And then maybe move to Australia for the summer. If of course all goes well with trying to uh, plan these episodes around real life none such. I guess I should put my lights on, huh? 
Tick tock, wait, it is 8 o'clock now. I did want to keep, uh, keep our episodes going here. You know, finally did a couple episodes for our American Trek Euro Trips, uh, Euro Trek 2 career series. And I want to try to get back into those, those you know, 30, 40 minute episodes again. YouTube strictly, strictly YouTube episodes, I should say. I, I definitely want to do some premium bowl too. That's one I sort of want to do as short little episodes to, you know, a league night, you know, a league series for, uh, you were going to go for, uh, kind of each episode play through like a season or something. Get back into the golf games too now that it's spring. We should be golfing more. So that type of thing. And then, you know, those episodes we do strictly for YouTube, but you know, I, they, they do get uploaded to Twitch as well. So you know, we can you know, make them as make them part of our reruns on, uh, on Twitch. So, you know, obviously, we're doing a lot of reruns right now on Twitch because of uh, our real life situation and, and the uh, pandemic. So, you know, but I, I just wanted to, you know to help. You know, it helps helps me mentally just to. <coughs> Excuse me. Pop in here and do uh, <coughs> get back to doing some of our video episodes. Uh, yeah, it's been helping me catch up to uh, on uh, Aaron's uh, track and field events videos that I recorded last year. I still got to do uh, the, her final season for cross country from. Uh, the fall of 2018, I still never got around to doing that. But we're finally wrapping up uh, last year, 2019's uh, spring track and field stuff. So we've got, uh, got uh, the Region 19 championships that will be going up this, uh, well, by the time you see this episode, will have been up last week. <laughs> and, uh, we should be getting the area C's up around the time that this video goes up as well. And uh, I probably should stop here for gas. And then we'll get uh, the Archdiocese finals because she did qualify for the Archdiocese national. Uh, Archdiocese Philadelphia, so a national finals uh, for the high jump. Somebody else hauling some mud diesel there too. It looks like. Uh, which he, uh, which uh, was held in June. Of course, this year no no spring track and field at all for obvious reasons. filled up pretty well. Okay. Yeah, we're full. We're full le with less than 500. Okay, good. So full tank. We don't have to worry about that. We're not going to have to worry about rest until uh, we hit Dover. And we should actually be fine because the ferry should, if I recall correctly, provide us the rest we need. So we got plenty of time to get down to Dover here. Yeah, we'll be continuing our gameplay here in Euro Truck Simulator. Hopefully, a little bit more regular, regularly. Uh, you know, I, I was trying to do at least one, you know, an episode a month. But of course, you know, lots of other things going on in addition to a whole bunch of other games that I'm trying to play. 
So that tends to interfere every once in a while. I guess there's no problem with us taking this exit here. But the other one, yeah, is a little bit more of a roundabout way. Of course, I say that now and I'm probably wrong. I know, yeah, this is pretty much the way we want to go. Solution tell us it's the ferry to Paris. Yeah, the bit of the ferry. This is what we want. But yeah, I, you know, again, just just trying to get back to our regular career series type episodes. In addition to doing our special live streams once we get back into the live stream and swing of things. Uh, I currently have, uh, you know, I pull up our schedule for April. Um, that, that's pretty much going to carry over, I think, for the, at least for the rest of the spring, our overarching streaming schedule. Uh, this is what we're doing. driving live streams and that kind of stuff so it's definitely getting more into the hunting games now as well our newest passion the hunter and hunter classic and hunter call of the wild so <laughs> but i did want to try to get into pure farming too you know, i do some farming regularly now um, we'll be getting back into ski region simulator come the fall once uh, you know skiing season kicks in again so, try to do stuff seasonally. That's kind of my goal right now, because there are so many games I want to play, so many games I want to stream. Um, and obviously, there's just, you know, not enough time. You know, in a month, you know, a year, not enough time in a year, let alone a month, a week, or what have you, you know, a day, to try to do, uh, okay, yeah. do really all the games I want to do, so. I think at the end of the day it'll be probably easiest to do them seasonally. You know? So do golfing games during the spring and summer. Do farming during the spring and summer. You know, obviously the trucking we can do year round. Uh, do things like you know the ski region simulator during the fall and winter. that kind of stuff, you know, it's sort of, sort of my overarching thoughts on how to, you know, juggle all these games that, you know, I want to play, and that, you know, obviously, uh, quite a few of you have expressed interest in seeing uh, these different games and things like that, so, obviously, we got to get back into Construction Simulator and Demolition Engineer, all right. Here we go, and we are fully rested on our way to Paris. Excellent. Now I gotta remember I can be on the right side of the road, so to speak, the correct side of the road. The side of the road that I, as an American, am used to. Paris. As always, if there's any particular games that anyone wants to see on a more regular basis, please, please let us know. Because, of course, you know, I do this for my own entertainment primarily, for my own enjoyment of playing these games. But, as always, you know, the more I can entertain others as well, if other people get enjoyment out of it, get relaxation, that kind of stuff, that's a bonus. So, Thanks. 
uh, more than willing to, uh, oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be... Yeah, we got a little bit of trailer damage here, unfortunately. There's no escape in that, unfortunately. Got a truck damage, but we got trailer damage, unbelievable. So we're not getting away this time, scot-free, unfortunately. Yeah, just just trouble getting up and down these all these rakeups, these exits with the steering. And hopefully one day, hopefully one day I can. Grab myself uh, a nice steering wheel combination that might make, you know, if anything, some of these older games easier to uh, drive in. Finally got, you might, might be able to see in the background here, finally got a, uh, a genuine gaming chair. Uh, you can check our YouTube channel. Of course, check the channel that you're watching right now, because, well, in case you are watching this as a rerun on Twitch, check our YouTube channel. Uh, I uh, put up a video uh, surrounding the chair. I actually won the chair through a contest uh, on Massively OP. So probably, so very nice, you know, it was, it was cool, completely unexpected. I entered the contest not expecting to, at all, to win. I didn't even realize I had won until after I had made a comment on, a, on an article on the website, and uh, Bree told me, hey, you know what, you won, and I uh, didn't hear anything from me. He was like, what, what do you know about? Oh, like, what? Get out of town. So it inspired me to make a uh, little video surrounding the chair the winning. What's that? Oh, well, it's your dinner time. So you can check that out on the YouTube channel. It is the old man's major award. So nice, yeah. It's a really nice chair. When I looked at, uh, you know, it was, uh, when I looked at how much they uh, sell for on the DX Racer site, it's like, oh my god! It's like it's it's really it really is a major award, and uh, you know, really one of the uh, I would have to say one of the three things that I've won. I guess when I've entered, you know, contests and that kind of stuff. Now, I, I, I've won some minor stuff here and there, um, you know, some, you know, key codes, game codes, uh, you know, quite a few off of Massive EOP in their various contests, you know, and, you know, just, you know, codes for stuff in games and, and that kind of thing, and, uh, you know, so, which is all cool and stuff, but, you know, hey, it's, you know, it's, to win something like this is, is it's pretty big, I mean, for me. Um, but really, it, it's, I probably would say in my lifetime, probably the third biggest thing I could say, or third really coolest thing I guess I could say that that I won through, through a contest or a giveaway. Um, the first was uh, when I was a kid. My dentist's office, my dentist's, you know, well, there are my dentist's, my dentist's office, uh, used to have this thing they uh, did that once a month they would have a stuffed, a, a, a fairly large stuffed animal. Um, that they would, uh, that they would uh, give away each month. Uh, and to enter the giveaway you actually had to name the animal so you would just so it'd be different animals and, and stuff so different animals different stuffed animals that kind of stuff so you would just name the animal and then the the you know the, the people in the dentist office 
would pick uh, pick the name that they liked the most that somebody came up with, and that person would be the animal. So one, uh, so one month they had a a, uh, a um, I guess it would be a sheepdog. I guess yeah, I guess it was a sheepdog. And the thing is, like, pretty big. I not not exactly you know not exactly the size of I guess I guess of, of a full grown sheepdog, but uh, I gotta do it this way. But pretty close, and so I ended up naming it Sir Bark a lot because that was sort of what we called um, our dog at the time. It's our dog. I only remember which dog we had at the time, but he was he was a barker. He was noisy, noisy, noisy barker. And so we'd always used to call him Sir Bark a lot. So I figured, hey, that's a great name for this dog, and hey, I ended up winning. They they, they like that name, so. Uh, Sir bark a lot the stall the stuffed uh, she stuffed she dog came home with me so that was really the first really cool big award that I won in my life so that that wasn't too shabby and then really the next one that I, I remember or at least has, has made a an impression on me enough that I I still remember I'm trying to think if I've won anything else between then and the second one that that I, uh, like I said, I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting, but like I said, uh, you know, these are the three that uh, sort of uh, that's uh, I, are the most memorable for me. And the second one uh, was I guess I guess it's been about ten years now, really. Um, Uh, an Xbox 360 I won uh, for attending um, a video uh, a video conference with Microsoft uh, for uh, while I was working at a tech job yeah, damage penalty of course um, so I ended up winning an Xbox 360 just for attending the, uh, the, the, the the webinar the seminar that Microsoft was hosting at the time I'm like wow cool because, of course, uh, up to that point, uh, our console systems that we had were uh, our good old classic NES and classic uh, Super Nintendo. And I mean the original classic ones. So uh, the Xbox 360 was sort of our first, my first modern console I ended up getting. So I ended up winning that. Uh, like I said, that was, probably, that was probably about 10 years ago, I think, I uh, won that. Um, so that was pretty cool, of course. Yes, start completely. Got it. So um, let's see where we're at here, um, and of course now, you know the third major coolest award, our pink bean chair by DX Racer, Maple Story themed. So I mean, it's like I said, it's 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 a pretty pretty nice chair. Of course, obviously nicer than anything I've I've been using for gaming since well since I started gaming really. I think uh, I think back when I started when when I when I was living in in a condo, we had an office chair. I think yeah, I think we had an office chair then. Um, which was pretty nice and comfortable. Uh, one of the high backed office chairs, as I recall. Uh, but I did a lot of my my gaming on a laptop on the couch anyway at that time. Uh, but yeah, when I was on the desktop, we had that office chair. And then when I moved out of the condo and, and the, the, uh, the girl I was living with at the time, we split up. You know, she, that was her, it, it was her chair. So she ended up taking the chair. So, uh, yeah, I ended up, uh, uh, for after I moved to, moved out of the condo and when, uh, yeah, really when I uh, moved in, uh, with my wife here and, and you know, started really becoming a serious gamer and started streaming back in 2013. It was just a dinky little, <laughs> dinky little office chair. No, no sides or anything. Just, you know, it, basically, yeah, yeah, I don't even know what to call it. It's almost like a stool. And that's been it. Well, you'll see it in the video. You'll see one of the ones I used in the video. 
The other one was is, is, had red padding on it, a little bit thicker padding, but really not much. And with a broken back, you know, not really much to it. But if you watch our, our uh, my little video on it, you'll see the chair towards the end that I was actually have been using pretty much for the last seven years. So yeah, I was completely stoked to be able to win a bona fide actual gaming chair here. And uh, boy, this thing is this thing is definitely definitely going to uh, see its use. And uh, again, I much appreciate the massively OP next and Nexon for uh, running the contest, and of course the X Racer for making uh, a pretty pretty solid chair here. But uh, yeah, that's the stories, and there we go. We're in Paris. Paris, Paris, Paris. We've got our next career star, so all we have to do now is uh, earn some money and open up three new countries. Uh, or open up two, two new countries, and uh, we can then become professional. So, Spain and uh, Belgium. And so again... We're looking at 56 grand to open them both. So uh, perhaps, perhaps what we'll do is just go ahead and open up Spain or open up Belgium next, because we're at 45. We need 56, so we only need 11,000 more euro. And that at least covers the cost of the countries. Of course, I don't want to drain the bank account here, but um, yeah, we should be able to open up Belgium. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Open up Belgium and. Take a trip into Belgium. Let's, let's see who else we've got here. The Netherlands, Portugal. Once we open up Belgium, we'll be able to get into the Netherlands. Of course, we can't get into Luxembourg, unfortunately, but we can get into Portugal once we open up Spain. And there's at least Poland, the Czech Republic, and Austria. So really, and really, once we if we were to open up Germany, which is actually more than both those countries, uh, Germany actually allows us to access everything but Portugal. Right now, Portugal is locked by Spain. But yeah, we'll be doing Belgium because yeah, with Germany bordering everything, we we would have our choice then. But yeah, so we'll do Belgium if I remember next episode, and then Spain. We'll probably be a couple more episodes because like I said well I'll probably want to have at least it's gonna cost me 36 to open I'm probably gonna want at least probably at least 56 to 60 grand in the bank before I open up Spain that'll be for next time so we'll be on to Brussels I think that's all we can get to. yeah Brussels is the only thing we can get to uh in Belgium, but hey, it'll be well worth it. Paris to Brussels. I think that sounds like a plan. Meantime, thank you for watching this episode of Your Truck Simulator, everyone. Much, much appreciated. Be sure to follow us on uh, on uh, Twitter. Not Twitter. Well, yeah, follow us on Twitter anyway. And uh, of course, check out all our Twitch channels right there. RMG Gaming 2 is our simulation channel. So that's where, you, where you'll be seeing all our simulation games that we play. Uh, so definitely be sure to follow that subscribe if you like and of course subscribe to us right here on youtube as well much much appreciate see you next time and until next time oh i gotta do this hold on a second hold on let's do this until next time i'll see you in game and on the roads